Aquarius, welcome to your weekly August 24th, 2015 tarot scope. I already went ahead and shuffled the cards and laid out a spread here um, to save time on camera. So let's get into, into your reading right away. We start your reading off with the world card, which is a very, very good card. Um, it's like a breath of fresh air. This talks about like uh, reaching a culmination, reaching a natural conclusion in your life. Um, it's the end of a cycle, but the end of a cycle doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Because it, it talks about fulfillment and attainment and success. Um, reaching the final stage of a goal that you've been striving for. Reaching the final stage of a project. So like the world's card, you know, talking about the end of a cycle. It could be somebody that's finally graduating from college. You know, it's been four long years and I'm getting a degree. Or reaching, reaching a culmination um, um, of a project that you've been working on, whether it's a creative project or it's something for work or, or big house renovations, um, something like that. So this is very good card, very good card. Now, following that though, um, again, I just want to reiterate success, success abound for you. But following that, we do have the six of cups reversed, and this talks about holding on to the past. Um, not letting something go or something in the past that is creeping up and it's getting in your way of, of maybe a project that you are trying to finish or, you know, I'll use the graduation example again, you know, when at, towards the end of your degree, when you are getting ready to graduate, there are some extra hurdles you have to jump. There's paperwork you have to fill out and make application and make sure you get all your exams done and your final papers and, you know, dot your I's and cross your T's. So, it could be something as mundane as that that's creeping up and holding you back. Or in a personal relationships, this could be something from the past that is coming back um, and, and giving you a headache. Um, somebody's upset over something that happened or somebody's holding a grudge and you need their help moving forward and so therefore they're not going to help you. Um, or it could just be a, a personal attitude of your own that you're holding on to that you need to let go of in order to move forward. So this is talking about holding on to something from the past, whether it's a personal attitude, feelings, um, something that happened to you as a child that you haven't gotten over, something current in relationships, work, business, romantic, parent, child, family, something that you're holding on to from the past or something's coming up that's kind of getting in your way. Following that, we have the chariot card upright. The chariot card is all about progress, moving forward, but balancing opposing forces in, in the process of moving forward. But you are moving forward with a clear purpose. You've got determination and willpower. Um, you, you know, the chariot card talks about taking initiative and being self-assertive. Um, so, but when you have opposing forces or you have something coming up and getting in your way, you have to learn to balance those opposing forces or the issues that are popping up. You have to stay grounded and stay balanced. Um, it, this could maybe not even be a specific person that's coming up and getting in your way. This could just be thoughts, feelings, and emotions that you have. Maybe you're trying to move forward with a project, but there's something that's getting in your way holding you back, whether it's fear or feelings of inadequacy or somebody telling you that you're not good enough or that you'll never make it. So you have to stay grounded. You have to stay balanced. You have to get out of that negativity and, and keep you know feeding yourself positive thoughts that you can do it, you will do it, you are capable of doing it. Um, or this could be, you know, if something's coming up from the past, from child, you know, all the way from childhood to recent past to whatever, that's getting in the way of you finishing culmination point of something that you're working on, um, then, you know, this talks about being self-assertive, self-reliant, and balancing balancing the, the disruption here, um, making, making decisions and doing what you need to do to, to keep that balance. But either way, the chariot is going to move forward, and you will continue on your path, and you will make forward progress, and, and, and you know, you'll be commanding, you'll have a commanding presence, um, 
what, while you do it. Not arrogance or anything, but just like, you know, I know what I want. This is a sense of clarity. This is somebody who's determined. I know what I want and I'm going after it. Bam. How you like that? The next card we have is the Knight of Swords in Reverse. And the Knight of Swords in Reverse talks about an upset, okay? Harsh words, a fight, um, maybe some conceit, uh, arrogance on somebody from somebody to, towards you or maybe you towards somebody else. There's dishonesty in this card. Um, this can also talk about, you know, obviously trouble on the horizon, but it can talk about a quick exit, so, like, maybe something comes up that forces you to make a very quick decision on and you are bouncing, right? You're, like, out of there. Like, I'm handling this and I'm done. Um, I, don't want, I don't want to go back and revisit that problem. I don't want anything to do with that person. I don't want to deal with this situation anymore. Whatever it is, this could talk about a quick exit. Um, and the quick exit could be the result of a fight that comes up with somebody or disagreement, an argument, some sense of disharmony, um, you know, disillusionment, um, you know, something, something somehow not going your way, but you will quickly handle it and move on. Following that, we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is all about being rational, like cool, calm, cool, and collected, you know. Sound advice. Um, this could be sound advice, you know, for a legal issue or business. Um, legal advice, business advice, personal advice, you know, from a counselor. Um, balance judgment. This talks about balance judgment. Somebody, somebody making a decision on your behalf, or you know, some kind of maybe a decision that you've been waiting on. That's kind of you know kept you in limbo. Uh, is is coming to an end. The decision is being made, and it's going to be made in your favor. Um, what else does this talk about? Again, going back, um, I'm feeling like with these other cards that are laying here, I'm feeling like it's either you, you are the king, okay, so you're taking control of your own life, with sound, rational decision-making. You're getting the emotions out of it. Or somebody is doing it on your behalf in regards to whatever this problem is over here, right? So like the world card culmination, natural progression to an ending, but, but a successful ending, you know, the ending of a project or a graduation or house renovation or legal issue, um, you're you're trying to move forward and balance all of the minutia. I mean, whatever this is coming up, like let's say this is a legal situation. You know, the legal, the case is coming to, I'll just use it as an example. The case is coming to a close. You know, all the opposing arguments have been done and the lawyers have done all of their digging and, you know, the judgments and um, facts and everything have come out in the case. And you're, you're coming to a, a close a close ending of it and you're feeling good about it but there's something that came up that's you know giving you a hiccup uh maybe the person you're in battle with in court is making a scene or trying to um to uh you know bash your name a slander um do something to make you look bad and you being the chariot or on the chariot you're trying to stay calm cool and collected during this outburst and you're hoping that the people who know you will see through the false accusations that this person has said. They'll see through it and, and you know, everybody that knows you knows that none of that stuff is true. And you're hoping that the judge and the lawyers can tell that about you, even though they've only known you for a short period of time. But they can tell that about you just through your demeanor. So you're trying to stay balanced, okay? And in being balanced, you're making a quick, swift decision, maybe per your lawyer's, you know, advice. Handle it this way, do this, don't do that. Or, you know, you want to say something, but you're forced to bite your tongue. So you're making a decision to bite your tongue in that moment and let water seek its own level. Um, and, you know, and with the King of Swords, this could be the judge who is ruling in your favor. Or, you know, that's just one example of like a court case, okay? 
this could this is a general reading. This can pertain to many, many, many different situations and scenarios in people's lives. I mean, this could be a work situation, a business partnership that's maybe falling through, or um, you know, maybe you maybe you and a friend are going into business together, and you've got all of your ducks in a row and everything looks great, but um, you know, the bank called and said, "Well, we see this glitch and that." that glitch in your credit report and you know maybe this loan and that loan data isn't going to look right for you you're trying to stay calm cool and collected and and just give them the necessary documents they need to move forward to you know declare whether your application is going to be approved or not um, this is a swift decision to um, handle whatever you need to handle with them whether it's giving them the documents or asking them further questions or whatever and then all of a sudden they come back and they say, oh, you've been approved. Your loan has been approved. You can start your business. Um, because, you know, uh, well, we'll move on to the four of cups in reverse in a second. But you see how these cards can pertain to many different situations. I mean, this could be a romantic situation where somebody's causing drama and um, you make a quick decision on how to handle that. Um, or somebody makes a decision for you. This could be a parent-child relationship where the child is giving the parent you know, a hard time. And the parent is coming down like the King of Swords saying, I'm putting my foot down. You see the armor that he's wearing? I mean, he's fully decked out in armor. I'm putting my foot down. This is how it's going to be, right? These are the rules of this house, <laughs> um, etc. So it's, it's a multitude of situations. I don't know how it's going to play out in your life, but um, this is the general energies. This is the energies this week for... Um, Aquarius. So the last card here is the Four of Cups in Reverse. If you can get a good look at that. Um, the Four of Cups in Reverse is all about the ending of discontent. So improvements are coming around, you know, around the corner. Usually when this is upright, this means this is a person who could be depressed, they're bored, they're unfulfilled, they're not satisfied, um, they feel kind of at a loss or maybe a crossroads in their life. Um, they're just, you know, they're, they're sad, they're depressed, there's a loss of some kind. They're focusing on everything that they lost or the lack or, or the boredom or what they're not happy about, but they don't see that someone, something, or the universe is offering them help in the background, and so they're not paying attention to that, right? And this is a person that can be in depression for a very long time, but when it's in reverse, this talks about you know, the end is coming, the end of your discontent, the end of your strife, the end of your depression. Um, circumstances are coming up in, in, in your favor here. You've got the King of Swords and you have the World card. This is success. This is in your favor. The Chariot is showing you staying calm and balanced throughout all of the turbulence, um, making quick decisions. So the end is near. Whatever judgment, maybe decision that, that gets made in your favor is going to end your discontent is going to end the frustration. You know, the graduation, uh, if you're in college, or the c completion of a project, or, you know, filling out all kinds of applications to get into a grad school and then being, you know, being accepted. Um, and it, you know, once you're accepted, it ends all of this anxiety that you feel about, am I going to get accepted? Am I not? Am I starting school? Am I not? You know what I mean? business partnership loan that comes through the anxiety are we going to get the loan are we going to get the loan um somebody who's going through a divorce settlement you know is it going to be in my favor or am i going to have to pay a ton of alimony um something whatever situation you're in is coming to the end to an end as far as the discontent not being satisfied not being fulfilled depression sadness feeling at a loss feeling like you're just kind of out to sea and like in a waiting pool um somebody's in limbo just just the frustration over that that's coming to an end now Aquarius I want to pull I feel like I want to pull one more card because we just need a little bit more clarification uh, let me see if the cards are telling me anything else hmm I'm not feeling much else so let's pull one more card ah Okay, so here's some clarity, some confirmation. Here we have the card I pulled for you. The last card I'm going to pull for you is the Seven of Pentacles. 
this is, I would say, a good card, okay? It's not like a windfall or winning the lottery and, oh, my God, you know, everything all of a sudden went from dark days to bliss. But Seven of Pentacles absolutely talks about forward progress and positive movement. Um, you know, it's like slow and steady growth. I mean, it may not be happening as fast as you want it to happen, but growth is happening. Changes, you know, every day there's a little bit, a little bit of a change. You know, it's moving in a good direction. This is somebody who you know, slow and steady wins the race. Um, they're being diligent every day, every minute of every day on whatever goal this is. Uh, they're taking stock in their investments. You know, it's like watching the stock market. You know, you might only go up one point one day and 10 points the next. Um, this could also talk about reevaluating a current project that you're working on. You know, the project, it's, it's going well. You're making strides every day. You know, you're accomplishing a little bit more, a little bit more every day working on it. You know, it's coming together slowly like the like pieces to a puzzle. Um, but during the creation of this project, you're kind of taking a step back and reevaluating. Do I need to change this? Do I need to tweak that? Um, what decisions can I make um, that can help move this along a little bit quicker? So you might be reevaluating current project making necessary adjustments to to tweak it so that it runs more smoothly, if you will, to move forward. Um, the Seven of Pentacles also, you know, just talks about patience. Patience, persistence, um, you know, your, your hard work will pay off. So things are looking up for you. They are going to look up for you. So whatever was going on here that's causing a little bit of strife, that's causing some hiccups, that's causing some delays and some challenges, it looks like you know, when it feels like it may not go well for you, as long as you stay even keel and keep yourself steady, steady Freddy, judgment, decision, something will happen in your favor. It will end the discontent and the anxiety and the frustrations and the sadness you feel. And you are going to slowly move on to bigger and better, bigger and better days, brighter days, bigger and better things, new opportunities. Current projects are going to start moving. It's This like ends the stagnation. So it's very good. I'm happy for you. Nobody likes to be stagnant. I mean, that's just one of the worst places to be. So, so Aquarius, um, that is your, your reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If it resonated with you, please feel free to leave comments below or ask any questions. This is a brand new YouTube channel. I am brand spanking new, honey. So um, I have some work to do to, you know, fill it in a little bit. But I wanted to just start diving into the readings because that's what I enjoy. And um, I look forward to hanging out, getting to know you guys and all of that. So just know that these are the energies for this week. There are no hard starts or stops to the energy. So this could have already kind of gone on throughout August and is culminating this week. This could be starting right now and it's going to move on into the following month. Either way, everybody's at different points of, of growth and development on their path. So um, this is just the general energies of what's going on right now for Aquarius. So stand by, hang out, and we'll see you back here uh, for September. Thanks for watching. Bye.